On this episode of Jeremy Does Things, I got my brother, we're back on Quadra Island, and we're gonna get out here on the beach. I'm gonna make some really cool finds. He says he's just here to clean the beach today. Yeah, I'm gonna look for some rocks, clean the beach up. Cool. Get that bro time in. Bro time! Bro time. <laughs> um, something really cool, my mom just gifted this to the Jeremy Does Things channel. This is a really cool ferro rod that she has seen Greg Ovens use, and she located the certain one, ordered it online, and she wants us to try to make fires. So me and my brother are gonna do a face-off in a fire-making challenge in an upcoming video. I forgot to bring mine, darn it. And we're not gonna do it today, because today we're out here on the beach, but I wanted to show that off, and today is a day of giving. I got something for you. Are you serious? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> My brother's got a YouTube page, as everybody knows. I've been talking about it a lot. It's called Quadra Rockers. And Quadra Rockers is at a little bit of a halt right now because my brother's laptop shit the bed. So he's kind of bummed out about that. Um, we got you something. Go ahead and open it up, man. This is from me and mom. We went halfers on it. This is a special time. Oh, wow. She's got some weight. <laughs> Classic. We love you, man. Wrap and up. <laughs> nice and safe. Uh, we just know how much you do for other people. Like, you could be out working today, but you're out here with Jeremy Does Things. And nice. we just wanted to get you a laptop. So, what this. Damn! <laughs> I got a nice little bow tie. I did that, that last is so night. Sweet. Um, so, this here is the same laptop that I have and in the side of the bag. Now we can just FaceTime back forth. We're gonna be using the same editing program. We're gonna be doing everything exactly the same. Sweet. That is really special. I love you, man. What a killer day. We're <laughs> off to a good start. Well, look at it out there, man. You wanna go see what it holds? Okay, here we go. Another beach comb begins. I'm really excited to see what we got. My brother's just stepping out on the beach, getting his bag ready. I know we say this in every video. We step out. But look at all this wood, dude. Should I bring a... Can you bring a bag or... Can I bring a sheet? Like, is a... No, your fingers are just dinosaur fingers. And they just can't get into the bag. <laughs> Bro Nature. Bro Nature sees a tire. He's not going to let that go back into the ocean. We're still by the truck. Go chuck it in the back of the truck. Now, I want to thank everybody for the special thanks we've been getting. Donations for cleaning up the beach. Um, if you guys want to do a special thanks, you just hit that little button down below. You make a little donation to the page. And uh, we're out here cleaning up. <laughs> Bro nature, buddy. If more people did that, like the ocean wouldn't be such a dirty place. Rope score. Oh, we got some dimensional lumber just sitting right up here. Somebody could be making a boardwalk. Another windy day. I apologize for the wind. Nothing I can do about it. Whoa, look at that. Some boom chain. And my brother was just pointing out big piece of burl here. And look at the size of this log. If this is the like- log wasn't in a provincial park, we could actually just take the saw and nip this off and make something with it. It's already dry too. Yeah. This is like a massive old growth tree. Just washed right up on shore. Piece of dimensional lumber here. Yeah. Whoa. Parkour. The half of a tennis ball. If I was in a real hurting situation, that would be a cup. I was actually just gonna ask. <laughs> Look how long these logs are, man. Like, honestly, this log I'm standing on is a beauty. It's like a telephone pole, but bigger, twice the size. What do you got? Five eighths plywood, just about a half a sheet. That's beauty. I mean, if we were gonna do the driftwood raft, I mean, look at that. Look at this. Call this the archway. Those are actually good. You put them, one side goes down to each post in your fence where the gate's going. Yeah. And then it kind of keeps the gate separated. An archway. Like it holds the posts nice and straight. Yeah. Yes, you gotta keep them separated. Oh, there's another one. Look at this one. Dude, that, that one's huge. Yeah. I mean, someone had a boat and they were just filling it up. 
I just want to say, look at this beach. It sits a lot more flat than most of the beaches, and then it goes right up into the forest there, so easy for stuff to just wash up and get caught. This is like nature's sluice box for awesomeness. Oh, put that in the bag. Oh, I'm seeing a nice two by six up there. Look at this, eh? Some plywood right beside it. That's a nice board. Just sitting right there. Oh, there's a four by four. Yeah, right here. Look at this one. There's a post. What a beautiful beach we're on. Oh, look at that piece of wood. Look at that natural curve. Just begging to be a rocking chair. Oh my God, look at the scenery too. I'm gonna zoom in. You got a dimensional there? Rope score! Oh, more garbage just falling out. What is that? Ah, we got a lighter. Nice sheet of plywood right there. That's just begging to be a shed. A brother nature up ahead picking up more plastic. Lots of plastic bags today, hey? Yeah, I where they all came from. You know what's kind of cool is you are seeing less and less of the plastic grocery bags. You know, they're not really around anymore. Yeah, that's You don't see them anywhere. They're being phased out, you can tell, on the beach. Yeah. It's been like two years and I still forget my bags every time I go grocery shopping. <laughs> Brother just produced this really cool sign. So, what do you think that is? I think it's a name that came off of a boat. PLTC 23274263. Is that a Z, a 7? I don't know, hit me in the comments because that's, that's controversial what he's got going on right there. That's to throw off the DFO. They're like, ah, I just don't know what that last number is. No, that's how you say it. Anyways, that's cool. If anyone knows anything about this sign, let us know. I'm definitely bringing that one home. Well, you're bringing that home. That's going on your woodshed. Rope score! Touchdown! Brother's just loving his new sign. So he thinks the PLT stands for plate. Plate number, it's not a phone number, you don't think? No, it's got two numbers. If anyone else feels like an investigator, let us know what you think. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. This here, Vaughn, this is value, man. Yeah, it's pressure-treated. That's pressure-treated. Pressure-treated, four-footer. Nice. Value. What would you do with the wood, you flatlanders? Oh, look at that one. That's a nice one. That's going on the woodshed. That's a cool looking slab of wood right there. Could be like a tabletop. What you got? Oh, bro, are you kidding me? That's a nice piece of lumber. That's the real deal, sitting next to plywood too. <gasps> Clearly got some weight behind it. <laughs> Come on, brother nature. Yay, we got lumber. Look at that. Nice two, nice two by four. Landing on a nice little piece of plywood. What'd you got there? Got some more signage, this one's broken in half. Turn it towards the sun. Yeah, right. So what do we got on this one? A-A-G. That's almost A-U-G, gold. Oh, it could have been danger. Ah, nice one, dude. You'd be so good at Wheel of Fortune. Just a cute little round tucked in there. I love seeing that. It's beautiful, man. Wood is so beautiful. Oh, there's two A's. Danger. Danger. No, this isn't a D. Oh, and a classic. I actually really love finding these. It's got another lighter score. Another lighter. We should pop those one day. Yeah, I know. I got two lighters already today. This is a nice red branch, or uh, sorry, a root. One of these Douglas firs. Hoist! Oh, that's on. Here we go. Yeah! We found a big root! Stoked on this one. Um, can I bring her home? We'll see. 
Oh, she's coming home. Yeah, it's got the shoulder nook. So everyone knows I'm a beachcomber. This is like when you walk into a, a bar and there's other beachcombers in there, you'll know because they got the rope swag. You hang your best rope score and that the girls get attracted to it, right? This one's got lots of colors, so it's pretty attractive to the women in the bar. Okay, we're making a little stop here to bag up some of this garbage. Pacifier, lighter, another lighter. Nice, brother. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it just keeps on coming. There's more. What the hell's that? Tampon, there's always a tampon. Applicator. Ladies, come on, clean up. <laughs> coming to you from Brother Nature. Super thanks. All right, on to something here, green. Green garbage, other garbage. What the hell is that? Ew, dude, I think that's like for um, contact lenses. Do you need any saline solution? Yeah, we're up here at the high edge, and there seems to be a lot of stuff. Lots of garbage. Nice work, man. Yeah, so I'm gonna stay up here in the high edge. This uh, whole edge here has been waiting for Brother Nature. Oh, look at this cool stick. What? This is cool. And look at that. Dandy of a little rope score. That's more of a rope cleanup than a rope score. Ooh, look at that piece of lumber. Are you kidding? Ooh, he gets all fired up like a WWF wrestler. Wow. Ooh, look at that piece of lumber. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true though, man. Like, that's a nice piece right there. Abby, my girl, out there in Maine, you'd be loving this piece. It's a nice, usable piece, and it's, like, light enough to carry with you. Abby, the wood salvage specialist. Okay, we got our first ball. No way! It's not a tennis ball, but... Okay, okay. That's okay, so we're at 1.5. Nice. <laughs> what was that that you just found? It looked like a fuel cap. Oh, there's the Cortez Ferry. So Cortez is the next island in line here. We're out in the Gulf Islands and that's how everyone gets to work and everything. What's that? Another one of those toilet paper rolls. <laughs> <laughs> that's proof that that was not a toilet paper roll because this is definitely what that was. It was like a melted float, you know? On that mug or something. Swig. Swig. Garbage, man. People. Cool. So we're up in the higher banks with the older garbage. My brother's theory. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You're right. That's styrofoam. I was thinking maybe from far away with the fin. But no, this is white man fin. That is styrofoam. <laughs> Nice rope score. What do you got? You never know what you're gonna find on the beach. Does anybody know what this is? Yes. That's a property survey stake. That's a corner pin. So somebody doesn't know where the end Somebody's of their property. property just got bigger. Check this out. We got the head of a fish. Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Salmon here. Uh, make sure to go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already to Jeremy Does Things probably find enough rope over one trip to cover the whole distance that we walked if we <laughs> strung it all up in a line. Always finding more stuff. Rope, like, I swear to God there's enough rope to wrap around the whole island. Every time we go, that's all we're finding. Ah, this is one of those things that clamp a chip bag together. Half of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I just found the freaking holy crap. Did you find a tennis ball? No, it's not a tennis ball. Uh, normally I'd be reaching in right now. Oh, are you crazy. kidding Yes, me? dude, that's your find. That's your holy grail. I'm, I'm no, like, you found I don't care. You dig, let's show these people. <laughs> it's trapped under the roots. I see a glass ball. Dude, we've been looking forever. <sighs> <laughs> I 
crazy. Look at that. I didn't know if I was ever gonna find one. Oh my god. Oh, I still haven't found one. Jeremy found it, but whatever. That proves if you just keep looking, you will find it. So it's up underneath like a big ass tree. Look at this. So the roots have obviously been catching how garbage. Long that's been stuck in there. That's cool that it's got rope around it. That's probably the only reason why it's still alive is because of the rope. This is in good condition. Um, that's crazy that it's surviving. <laughs> dude, we just found the glass fucking <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I'm so excited. It's been actually years looking for this. Yeah, so, okay, there's so much to talk about. Like, how long has that been sitting right there? How long ago did they stop using these? Like, And it's the rope. It's the rope that led us there. Okay, we have just found a glass ball. We've been searching. You know what, dude? We've walked kilometers and kilometers. We deserve this, dude. Oh my God. So, first thing I'm noticing is this protective rope. Look at it, it's all scuffed up. Yeah, I think it was maybe machine made this one. I can't okay. tell. Okay, people in the comments get active because there's questions I have. Did they really only use these in Japanese in China? Like, Japan and China? Because people always call it a Japanese fishing float, but why only there? And when did they stop using those? Like, how old is this? And like, is this a legit one? There's like air bubbles. It must be legit. I mean, it's got this protective rope. Unbelievable. You gonna clean it up? Dude, that's gonna be in your collection forever. Look at that. No, that's for you, dude. Um, yeah. How long do you think it's been in there? I know, it does look clean, eh? Well, it's probably had water splashing on it. Well, we got the first ball now, maybe we'll find more. Um, I know, that's the thing. We're normally down here on the beach, but uh, we did find it just right up there in that tree root, so. That's super cool. Um, we're gonna turn around and start heading back to the truck now. Vaughn forgot his signs, so we're on the lookout for his signs. Oh. That one's, I always forget what the, it starts with a P. Pyroxene crystals. Pyroxene crystals? I think so. It's good, oh, there it is. The one that'll mess your whole life up. Wedding band rock. Wedding band. That looks like a spill pad. Yeah, someone customized this thing to maybe like fit in a certain space. On the or around like a hydraulic hose that was leaking. Or it's a pillow. <laughs> That is good though, that's a spill pad with contaminated fluid on it. So, that's getting right off the beach line. Oh, dude, what the hell? Whoa, yo, I've never seen any, oh, those are eggs of some sort. Yeah, that's a squid jigger. What the hell, man? I'm just gonna leave it. That's gross, but those are eggs of some sort. I gotta touch it. Oh, gross. Should we throw it in the water? No, 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 just leave it. Let nature do it. There's definitely some eggs of some sort. Look at this, what is this, dude? I have to ask the professional. So it's probably like quartz vein that spat up through the basalt. Or like a secondary inclusion, and you can actually see some crystals formed in there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And that's a weird bottle cap. Oh, Coca-Cola. I don't know if I've ever seen a Coke bottle with a... Oh, that's, that's really funny. Yeah, that's kind of like off a of pop top. Some Japanese or something. <laughs> Everything's Japanese. Nice board just laying here for free. Oh, that's a good one. It's thin too. It's not like one of those big thick ones. Holy. But a really nice board. Mm -hmm. Nice and thin and wide. That's another nice one right there. Look at all this dimensional lumber. Look at it all. It just floats up for free. Like, just begging to be used. Look how long this log is. Dude, that's a ripper that you're on. That's a maple, hey? Pretty good at telling these things now. Get us back to the truck here and we're checking out our finds. I got into the lighters. There's probably more in the bag. Yeah, I mean, overall, that was pretty sweet. I mean, we found the holy grail that we've been looking for forever. But besides that, we got, you know, that's okay. Got a whole bunch of other stuff up off the beach. Brother nature, look at that. I wanna see how many lighters we got. Cause I don't know why I got obsessed with finding them. Once you find a few, then it's like, hey, now I'm really looking for lighters. 
<laughs> oh, the old spill pad. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies. Ladies, we got beef. Babies too. <laughs> God damn it, babies. Yeah, okay. Any other lighters in there to add to my collection? Yeah, what was that? That's what I saw you put in there. Oh, that comes off of an oil can? That's oh. the part that comes out. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. That's a... Yeah, it's just a piece of pipe. Thought it was a coupler. Ah, oh, there's the other lighter I knew we were on to. Five. Today was a five lighter day. Glass ball. Look at that beautiful little gem. So, I really want... 1.5 balls. Who yeah. guessed? No, 2.5. The glass counts. The glass freaking counts. Okay, 2.5 balls. Did anybody guess 2.5? I don't know. We're gonna have to send him a free Jeremy Does Things t-shirt, which I don't have yet, but I should get those made, hey? Would you guys buy a Jeremy Does Things t-shirt? It would say Rope Score or Bro Time. Yeah, those are two good ones. Bro Time would be a good one. Any other good ideas? Yeah, hit us in the comments, obviously. Uh, we got a pretty good haul here today, and... This is what I want you guys to blow up the comments about. I know nothing about these, and you know, how old could this be? And this rope protective layer on it really makes it last. Obviously, I can't believe this thing looks like it's been through some SHIT. Been through some stuff, been through some waves, got caught in the roots of a big old tree, and we just scoop by and find it. And we've been looking for a long, well, Vaughn's been really hot and heavy. Yeah, about. I've been hot on the trail on one of these for yeah. years now. And you know what we had to do is we had to search higher up on the beach into the old stuff. That's going to keep me looking in the roots now. I know. And you know, there's not much rock hounding on the upside, so. Yeah. That's a good... upside and a downside to everything. <laughs> the way back, rock hounding on the way back, that works good. So, I mean, that's yours. That you're taking that home. Yeah. Today, along with your new laptop. So everybody go and check out my brother's page, Quadra Rockers. And obviously like this video, hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Vaughn. And we're having some bro time. time. Yeah. Packing up the swag bag. Packing it up. Packing up the swag bag. Yeah. I'm keeping these though. I'm gonna throw them into my uh, my storage spot up there. I'm gonna keep hoarding these lighters as we find them. And then we're not allowed to have beach fires on Quadra, but maybe when we're on a beach in uh, Campbell River or whatever, we're gonna blow those up. All right, let's clean all this up. Yeah, There's a garbage can over there. So I want to throw some shout outs to some people that have been getting active in the comments. Um, you know, I like that. Uh, always like, say what you're thinking. Just type it out. If you're liking it, just say, this was sweet. Say thanks. Send me a special thanks. Donation. It all goes towards the channel. Me and my brother are going to be doing lots of adventures this summer. It's going to be really cool. So today was a lot of fun. We made some cool finds and we found the Holy Grail today. So that was really cool. We got. Troy from Washington. Troy from Washington. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and thank you for getting active in the comments, Troy. And then we also got Peter Rafferty from Galway, Ireland. Peter Rafferty from Galway, Ireland. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for watching. And it's really cool to know that people are watching our stuff worldwide. Ireland, that's super cool. Shout out to Sherry from Oregon Beach out there in the comments. She's a fellow rock hounder too. So she got put onto my brother's channel. She's loving that. She's commenting on the videos. Sherry, we love you, girl. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Huge shout out to JB. And I know you're out there watching, buddy. Wishing that you'd be along with me and my brother on these adventures. JB is my brother in law. And we get down with the outdoor stuff. Love you, Jay. Okay, I got one too. Sir Fisher, what up? Sir Fisher. Jay, baby, what's going on? Yeah, always watching, always commenting. I'm still waiting for you to show up, work on the homestead, and teach me how to fish, apparently. Let's see that happen. Okay, we got Matt Marzula. Matt Marzula, baby. What's going on? Massive shout out to Freddy the Sausage Spaniel. Always getting out there in the comments. He's a really good buddy. Uh, ben and Christy, we love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I know you're probably sitting there right now watching. Big smiles on both your faces. Look at each other, give each other a high five right now. Love you guys. Love you guys. Mark Richmond from Rogue Kill Recovery. Quadra Island, if you need any towing or hauling done, Mark Richmond, you're the man. Nice. I love you, baby. No, he's a super good guy. Quadra Island is lucky to have him around, man. Really good guy there. Danny Reese, what's up? Thank you for getting active in the comments. Danny Reese. Jack Burton, shout out to Jack Burton. I see you out there, always watching. Final shout out, this is a big one. This is the most important one. Shout out to my friend, Aaron Tuba. Shout out to Aaron Tuba, Ashley, the Tuba family, all the kids. We love you guys. I just want to say 
Sometimes the world needs to be let known that there's a good person out there. Aaron Tuba, you deserve this. What he told me is that he moved on to this small island, Quadra Island, and he said, you know what, I took one of the good jobs here, so I'm spending all my money here. So he shops for the overpriced groceries on Quadra. He spends as much money on island as he can, because he said he took a good job from the island, he wants to donate back. I said, the, the world goes around with good people. I love that. Aaron Tuba, you're the man of the day today. We love you, man. That wraps it up for the shout out section. Okay, see you guys on the next one.